all of the time, baby, go fishing too. Fishing Blues by Henry Thomas. This is a fun little raggy blues tune. You're going to hear all kinds of different variations on this tune, both in terms of the picking and in terms of the lyrics, the words. We're going to drop D tuning, so the sixth string has been tuned down to a D from E to D. So that gives us a nice 6-4 alternating thumb going on there gives you a nice rich bottom on the D chord of course we're in the key of D this is an 18 bar blues and you'll notice I have in the tab measures 1 through 18 I call that the basic version and then uh, 19 through 36 I'm calling that the variation. We've got two versions of it here, the basic version, and then the variation is just, uh, I try to mix things up a little bit, uh, put in some different slides, some different syncopations, uh, just to change it up some. And of course, like always, I encourage you, once you get a basic version down, try a few other things yourself. See if you can't make some other variations. I've highlighted the melody notes in blue. Also in the tab, you'll notice a, a P, an H, or an S in square brackets. So we've got this. P for pull off. Hammer on. Is an H, S is slide. For the embellishments. Let's take a look at this together. You know, I tried to tried to um, make it fairly simple in terms of the chord forms and the picking, but yet uh, to have a real good sound, a fun sound, and easy, easy and fun to play. We'll see if we succeeded in that. All right, looking at the basic version, starting measure one. Thumb is alternating, six, four, six, four. We start on the downbeat with a pinch. So then we have a pull off. You notice I'm making a, a partial D chord, not the full D, because I want to be able to reach up to that fifth fret with my pinky. If I made the full D chord like the regular way, I could do that probably. But no sense in having to stretch like crazy. So just make a partial D on the first two strings. Also in this first couple of measures here, notice I'm not playing it straight up and down. 
bum 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 and playing bum 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 and try to add a little bit of a swing feel to that So it's that you're going fishing all the time. A little bit of a swing in there. Now we go to a G chord. Just a two finger G. And I'm, I'm fretting the fifth fret of the uh, sixth string, which typically would be A, but now it's G, okay? Because we've tuned down a whole step to get us our drop D. So. Little hammer there. Bitch, baby going fishing. Back to the D. Now, really on the end of beat four, measure two, is where we start baby. Baby. And thumbs alternating six four. Baby going fish into little bass walk on the fifth string. Open, second fret, fourth fret, and then bet your life in measure five. So that's pretty much a repeat of measures one and two. Partial E7 chord here. I'm just staying away from the 6th and the 3rd strings. Catch more fish than you. Here's another bass walk, this time a little harmonized scale on the 2nd and 5th strings. Just walk them up. And so now we're up here at the 5th fret for um, any fish buys. Thumb is alternating 6-4-6-4. Six, four, six, four. Notice the fingering on this one to, to keep it as simple as possible. I've got pinch pinch, 7th fret, 5th fret. Now move pinky and then next finger over to the 2nd string. But on that 7th fret of the 3rd string, I'm going to use the ring finger, leaves my pinky free to pick up that string. Let's see how that goes. Measure 9 and 10 here. So we've got... Okay, so ring finger is picking up that 3rd string. Back to our G chord. Here's a little tip. Back to the uh, regular D. Measure 13, I'm opening up that second string we've got. And then put your ring finger back on him. And he fish buys. To finish these uh, last few measures out, I'm just going to be fretting with one finger at a time. So I'm just fretting either the, the first or the second string one fret at a time. Here's a case where you can change the syncopations around a little bit if you want. You can have this anticipate, like on the and of four, or have it right on the beat. Pinch and pull off. Okay. And then we walk into either the basic version again 
or into the to the variation. Measure 19. This this starts out the same way. Same G chord. Now I'm gonna slide with my ring finger up to the seventh fret, from the third fret to the seventh. And this is the and of four and then into beat one. I want to arrive at the seventh fret up by beat one. And the reason I'm sliding with the ring finger is it puts my hand in a good position to pick up these notes here, kind of out of the fifth position. For an E7, instead of doing it down here, like I did before, we're just going to go to... It's like a C7 form, moved up uh, two whole steps. If I were C7 here... That'd be D7. So I'm into an E7 with this C7 form. That's in measure 25. Thumb is alternating 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. Also notice when I come to beat 4, that pinch, I'm going to move my pinky over to the second string. From the from the third string and then staying right in the fifth position for the a7 27 so this is pretty much the same thing here And again, this is pretty much the same. Here I'm anticipating on the and of beat four. So I'm anticipating there again too. So it's a little bit different syncopation than in the basic version. Try this with me. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. On the and of four, we're gonna go. And then our then our pull off later. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Now measure thirty three. We're on the beat. There we are anticipating a little bit as we go into measure thirty four. Measure thirty three again. things you can do. I'm a going fishing, yes I'm going fishing, and my baby going fishing too, to kind of push those notes around a little bit. All right, let's take one more look through. Let's take it real, real slow. One, two, three, four. Now to the G. Hammer, back to the D. And when we go back to that D, bass walk, repeat. E7 down in the first position. Now our little bass walk, double bass walk, harmonized scale. So open up second string, back onto the second string, measure 15, we're on the beat here. And I'm hitting that open second string on the end of four, just to throw in an extra note.
So that's the basic version. Variation, a little bit of variation. Some of it's the same as the basic version. And that's the same. Bass walk up. Now here's where we slide. To our E7. C7 form. Move pinky. Little A triangular shape. That's measures seven, uh, 27, 28. Back to the G and 29. So there's some ideas about fish and blues and maybe a little variation here and there to kind of spice it up. Have some fun with this one. This is, this is a great fun picking tune.